this is a week in the life of a CNA working in New York City in a nursing home. <laughs> So I'm headed to work and I decided to try out the cinematography in the dark and I felt like it's pretty decent, not gonna lie. Am I sprinting out the block? Absolutely. Because I would have been the one who, well, I'm not late. I was just in there moving around for a little bit, like getting a few things together. And now a girl is ready to go, okay? So I have to run a little bit. <laughs> to catch up not gonna lie i had to pull out my little sweater that is like a little bit warmer because today the weather is 60 degrees if you don't know anything about here in the fall and winter time you'll get a regular weather update over here because i like the cool weather but when it starts getting cold i'm so over it anyways my curls are thriving today my hair looks nice so i'm very happy about that too and we're headed to work after two days off which is a luxury these days. Had to work. The morning is off to a good start. Can't really complain. I managed to get a lot done, even though it's very early right now. It's 8.07. And so far, it looks like I'm going to have a smooth day. Knock on wood. Do not want to jinx the day that I might have. And then I'm going to go up and eat lunch with my friend. I think I might go to the nail salon today. Hello on a beautiful Friday. So the universe truly believes in balance because yesterday I had like a smooth day or whatever. And today I'm literally running around like a chicken without a head. And while I like keeping busy when I'm at work, I don't know if I love it this much to be all over the place all the time. I'm, if when I go outside, the ladies done with my resident, I'm gonna have like a little break for maybe an hour, maybe, highly unlikely an hour and then we're gonna go into lunch and then probably do something for a few people and then I have to um I actually get a break where I come off of the floor and go have lunch with my friend which I'm literally looking forward to today and I feel like I'm starving and I don't even have that much food so that's exciting so just imagine the day I'm having literally hiding praying that nobody calls me so I can just sit here and just think for a hot little minute because I feel like since I got to work and like I got my assignment I've just been going 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 literally like I said before like a chicken without head so I'm gonna just hide off in here until somebody calls me it's 10 35 a.m and for the most part I think I'm done I think so but I'm just tired and really want to just relax for a little bit just came back from lunch and I'm signing up my book about the residents and stuff and lunch was so so good i had um fried rice and butterfly shrimp super good i feel like i'm literally having so much rice i, I just feel so um called for lack of a better word to go home and like work out i've wanted to start working out again but like we're not even gonna get into this because i feel like ever so often we we have these conversations where i, I want to work out and then i just stop out of nowhere and never mention it until i want to start again so we're not even we're not even okay yesterday when i was going home i was throwing a whole fit because man was supposed to come pick me up with food and he came without the food and then was like oh i'm gonna buy it and i'm like now i don't want it no more and he's like well i'm gonna buy it anyways because i will not hear about this later on which he would have had he not bought the food but um he did so i i had rice yesterday too and rice today and i just feel like it's so much rice all together right now i feel like i overeat like i feel so full and i have fruits in my bag so later on i'm definitely gonna eat fruits before i go to bed like i'm not gonna eat anything else heavy before when i go home and then i'm probably gonna sleep when i go home today i don't know i don't really feel tired i might go home and just watch some youtube videos or whatever i have nothing um time sensitive that i need to do oh, i need to do some reading on um developmental psychology but yesterday i was looking in my module and i i didn't see the 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 book uploaded so like i couldn't even go through and like start reading or anything before my class so like i'm just here i checked to see if i passed the exam still nothing on there so i'm just out here asked out i feel like for the next one i'm probably gonna go into or maybe i should contact um college board or wherever i did it through to like see what's going on i need to text my advisor too to see what she has to say and for the next one i might just go to the college because i feel like this right now is not it hi y'all pretty much ready for work and i'm waiting to like kill a few minutes or whatever but i was just on my insta stories ranting about the fact that yesterday i impulsively decided to go inside of um 
Marshalls just to look around to see what's there because I'm trying to prep for a birthday gift from early. So I wanted to see if there was anything in there that was worth buying that I was gonna buy online. And long and short, I didn't see anything for that purpose, but I saw everything else for everything else. I ended up seeing a garland that I was interested in and I walked around for a hot little minute looking at it, ended up picking it up and in the last minute put it down because the line inside that Marshalls is always so long. And then I went to see my landlord and he was like, listen, the Marshalls, another one that's like close by, has so much nicer things. So you should go there. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, look at me trying to stay away from spending money. And then this, but I feel like I'm not really a holiday person. The holiday is not my favorite. Do I have seasonal depression? Not exactly. It's just Christmas that isn't my favorite and it hasn't been for years. And I vocalized that for years, but um, I already bought my Christmas tree, okay, from September. And if I'm gonna do this, my Christmas tree is gonna look nice. It is going to replicate the, the exact vision that I have for it. I want it to look the same in the garland that I saw yesterday. It literally looked like exactly what I wanted for myself in life. <clears throat> I'm making a wig so the living room is a little bit messy, but I wanted to use this opportunity to look at a Christmas tree skirt that I have. Sad if the living room looks messy, it's okay. So, I had this Christmas tree skirt and I can't find it, so I'm going to have to. I have hair on the couch and everything, I'm gonna have to look for it later because I literally do not have the time to look for it right now. Like, I literally have to go right now, but I need to set a reminder to look for it later. So, that's a plan for later. I don't know what time I'm gonna come home because this little man here wants to go somewhere, so we might do that. But, um, yeah. At work, going through the motions, I have a terrible headache. Kind of starving. I ate a cookie earlier, but still kind of starving. And I don't have break until one. And right now it is ten thirty, so I have another three hours to go, pretty much before I get lunch. And I'm trying not to take any pills for this headache. I'm trying to see if it will subside naturally, but it's looking slow. I don't know. I can't wait to go home to just lay down, honestly. Happy Monday, not so happy Monday. Today is one of those days where I feel like I'm literally running off of fumes because we're working short and I had to take two extra people, four extra people at this point, but my assignment was already kind of empty. There wasn't really much people on there. So I had to take four extra people. Luckily for me being on this COVID unit, um, most of the people are staying in their rooms in their bed so it's not gonna be a whole process to like get them ready and like take them out most of them are gonna be staying inside so that's great but I literally feel like I'm just running off of fumes and I have to take these breaks where I come inside here and just take my face mask and my face shield and everything off just to be able to breathe something in other than whatever is going on out there so I'm heading out in the bathroom for a little bit and then I'm gonna go back out and actually get some work done before I need to go on my break at 11. I also need to text my friend and check on her because she called out today and that's not very typical of her. I did text her earlier. I don't think she responded so I'm gonna text her again or call her to see if she's doing okay because I know that yesterday she was outside. But um, yeah, happy Monday. That's what the Monday consists of. I also feel like I'm going to wrap up this vlog because at this point it's been a whole week long. So this is a week in the life of a senior working in New York City in a nursing home and literally what it's like without like saying too much. If you're a senior, you get it. If not, this is just a snippet, honestly. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.